All right, Lonnie, what's up, man? Yes, sir. How are you? See, no, see normally when we're chatting, uh, it's uh, it's uh, over the phone. I know, or, right? Uh, as opposed to in person. Or we're hosting uh, together. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I've never uh, been on this side of you, so that, I don't that's know what true. to expect. Uh, what, 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 what was it? Was it the... Um, it was, it was a gospel event. It was y'all y'all were doing the McDonald's gospel tour. Uh huh. But at the then Kennedy Center. they did. Uh, it was it was at the Kennedy Center. It was at the Kennedy Center. And that was a trip because um, uh, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. I ran to her at the Houston Texans game. I remember I busted her that night. I ran to her at the Houston Texans game, and she says, "Hey, I want you, I want you to attend. Uh, I want you I want you to do something to attend uh, this gospel event we have in there." Yeah. I was like, "All right, no sweat." I right, just sent an email. All of a sudden, I get to run a show. Uh, I was like, I, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, really? You didn't like, know? I, I was like, hold up, hold up. I said, well, I'm sorry. At what point did I agree? Uh. <laughs> did, did I agree I was emceeing uh, wow. and I was doing something? And like, oh yeah. And so and that's that's why I was killing them the whole night. Where I was like, hold up. Somebody gonna pay for my parking. Got I'm like, y'all gonna sit in here. Got I said, it, I, it, I said, I ain't getting paid to do this. I wow. said, it, that, that's literally how it's. I didn't dude, know that, dude. I was, I, I was killing her all night. I was cracking. <laughs> I was cracking. Her people like, Rolly, you cold. I said, I said, first of all, I ain't gonna pass up the joke. So I'm that's just letting y'all know right now. I, so that's that's what happened. I love it. That's what happened. I love it. Now I get it. It literally now was just, it. hey, we having this event. We love for you to attend. To, I get a run a show in an email. I was like, "That's funny." Where, it sounds like her though. I'm like, "Where this come from?" Yeah. I was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh." Uh-uh, well, you uh-uh. did your thing, bro. Oh, I, man, you know, look that 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 was that was that 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 was fun. That was fun, uh, doing it. Cause you know, church folk just too uptight. And I, I sometimes you just got to go ahead and just go in on church That's folk. That's why I host to, like I do, man. Man, just let's have a good time. Let's laugh. Let's joke. You know, and you know, it, it's ebbs and flows. You know, you follow the spirit where, where it leads, but you don't have to be ultra deep from the word hello. Bruh, I'm like, <laughs> can y'all loosen up? Right, that's right. that's why I was just scoring on everybody. Yeah. Like, this boy lost his mind up here. <laughs> right. They were like, we ain't gonna bite this fool back. I said, I, I said, I don't care. It was I, a good look though. Oh now. yeah, oh yeah. And uh, I mean, great talent, all of that. So, so, so this is the 15th year. Uh, 15th uh, year, uh, yeah. And so, how many years have you done it? Seven. Seven. Yeah, this started with me um, coming in to fill in for the host. Erica Campbell had gotten sick. Mm. And they came to Philly, and Hoyt, who was the producer, yep. said, can you come in and just do Philly for us until she gets better? And I said, yeah, I'll come in. I'm supposed to do one show. And then uh, seven years later. Man, you just took Erica's we job. <laughs> we are. You took Erica's job. You crazy. Yeah, you probably told us, see, don't get sick. See what happened when you see what happened you, when you get sick. You know what? You better go and work out and take your medicines and all of that, cause you know see? somebody's always hey, ready. Hey, always ready. Yeah, always yeah. ready. It's been an immense blessing, though, Doc. It's been a real good ride. So, I mean, obviously, normally uh, you're doing it and you've got audience uh, and you, you're dealing with people. Obviously, this year is different. But I I, 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 I tell people this all the time. Uh, Michael Collier and I had this conversation. Mm-hmm. And people really don't understand. Not everybody can host an MC. People don't understand that they sit at home and they think, man, I can do that. It's not an easy it thing. It's not. And many people get it confused that when they see you sing or perform because you do that well, that you will translate onto radio or to hosting just right. as well. And it's two different vibes, Doc. Right. Two completely different vibes. Yeah. Well, first of all, whether whether you can sing, whether you can act or whatever. It's just not the same. And yeah. so, look, there are people uh, I know who are actors who can't give a speech to save their life. And don't want to. And, and, Scares and, them to and, death. And I'm, you sit there going like, what are you doing? Because yeah. that's because they're not used to that. Uh, where others, uh, you know, some people can't handle it. And so I just tell people all the time. And then, then you have the people who assume, and like, I'm sure you, you've dealt with this. There are people who assume, well, now I don't know if Lonnie or Roland should host. Let, let's get a comedian. Well, not every comedian can host. Right. See, that's the thing that people. You know, it, 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 you have to understand uh, stuff crashes. You got to understand. You got to stretch. You got to understand. You got to yeah. be quick. Yeah. You got to be able uh, to quickly uh, uh, segue from one to the other. How to get in. How to get out. If and all- a host can be funny, and not be a comedian. There you go. There yeah. You go. I may not be a stand-up comic, 
but you're going to crack up if right. I'm hosting the show that's because we're just going to have a good time. That's my point. Yeah. So, 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 so the ability to blend all of that together. That's a lot. What has been, okay, what has been the craziest moment all these years you've been hosting where it's, where stuff just, and you had to, it, it was just the craziest. <laughs> I, there, there's always a story. You there's know a, there's a lot there's of a, them too, come right? Come on now. There's, there's always a story. <laughs> well, we, I can't remember what city we were in, but I have a tendency to go into the audience. Right. And do what I call a talent show, because if we're in church, most of the time, right. the best singers are in the audience. Right. So I'll go into the audience and just have somebody sing. And uh, this one day, this man decided that he was going to try it, and he started singing. He was a mess, but <laughs> I made the mistake of giving him the mic to sing. Do you know that Versus, man walked away from me? Versus holding it? Yes, no, exactly. L L Lonnie, you, you already know. Lonnie, that was the, that's the first rule of hosting. Don't give the up your mic. The first rule of hosting is you do not give <laughs> up. This is what I do when I host. I like, look at here. Put your hands in your pocket. Right. Put them behind your back. I said, if you touch the mic, I'm going to smack your hand. Yep. I don't need your help. When I tell you that man walked away from me and you could see me chasing him around. He walked away. He wanted to finish his song. I was like, It Sir. was so bad. And you were like, bruh. It was bad. Mike, bruh, bruh. It was Mike. bad. <laughs> wow. It, it was bad. And that, that's the last time, the last time I've ever given up a mic. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, we're going to fight over it. Mm -mm. I tell but you. I'm going to keep it. Put your hands down. Put your hands yeah. down. Behind your back. It gets crazy. I tell him, assume the position. <laughs> because when the lights go on, if people are not normally on stage, right. that's something that clicks into them. So they go into their shower mode or right. when they're at home mm -hmm. by themselves no. holding a brush, Don't they go into that mode and it's a wrap. That's the first rule. Don't ever give. Whenever I'm, whenever I, whether it's Q&A uh, or I'm moderating something, you know, I'll be on stage and they'll say, well, we got mics on the floor. I said, mm -mm, no, no, no. I said, no, take the microphones away. I'm going to walk around. Yeah. I'm a whole, I said, no, we ain't doing that. Otherwise, it's, I said, it they, be that chaos. They're going to be there 15 minutes. Nope, yep. nope. <laughs> we ain't That's doing it. That All is right. the truth. So, okay, did, did you ever have a moment where um, uh, something happened when an artist and you had to, you had to stretch and you had to, you had, you, I mean, something happened back, so not, not with the audience, but something happened with, with the production and you, yeah. it was like, uh, we don't know how long it's going to take, so. You gotta go yeah. out there and keep this audience uh, awake. Stretching for me is 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 easier for me, especially in church, because you know you can just do church stuff. Mm -hmm. When you can walk out in the audience or ask somebody a question or you know that kind of thing, that's easy for me. Well, I I, I like I like to make to make church folk uncomfortable. You know, I'm gonna talk about their hats. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I, I'm talking I, I, about. I, I'm gonna sit here and write. I and then sometimes some people, we were at the MLK. It was a uh, 2018 MLK. It was a 50th anniversary of assass uh, uh, commemoration of assassination, and so same thing. They were like, "Okay, I, you know, the next speaker not here, so you know, stretch." I was like, "So Bishop Blake, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bishop Blake, uh, they, his they came in and seated." And I was sitting there, and I was like, "How many people with Bishop Blake?" I'm looking at all these people who walk with Bishop Blake, and I was like, "Bishop Blake, glad to see you." I said, "But you got more people than Jesus had disciples." <laughs> <laughs> The whole part. They were like, oh my God, they he just said that. that kind of stuff, because it's like, real. He just said that. I was like, what? They were like, Roland. That was, I, was like, I know that was Bishop Blake, but they got all, like, you shouldn't. I don't understand that. Look, it, look, this is my plot. Everybody get hit. Especially if you're in the front first five rows. Everybody get hit. You, and I can see you. Everybody get hit. <laughs> your, your titles, this, this is my philosophy if you're the MC. Tell me, do you handle this? When you the MC, Everybody, no title, no matter what your title is, you might get hit. It's fair game. It is fair game. And you, you get your best material from the audience. So, okay, all right. So give me an example of, of, of a prominent person who you just scored on and just had them crack, cracking up laughing. Uh, it had to have been Patty. Oh, okay. And this was during the years when she had the, uh, the high head, right, the right, iron hair. Right, right, right. Yeah, so uh, she came in. Get them plates shit yes, out of that head. Was it. Yeah. She came in and they set her in the front. And I was like, now you know can't nobody else in this room see now, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just me and you in here right now because can't nobody else see around nothing you got on your head. Patty hollered. She hollered. But, they, you know, people love that kind of stuff. It's real. Right. It, but you know what? It's always the organizers of stuff. That's them. Like, I did an event uh, during CBC and they left the awards. Why? 
I don't know, the wars didn't arrive in time. Oh, they left the actual statues, you mean? Oh, wars. okay, gotcha. I, that, that was fair game to me. I was like, because Mike explained to me how we got an awards program. We ain't no. got no awards. <laughs> I was like, really? And then I was, and then wait a minute, it was it was it was uh it was the Detroit event. I uh-huh. said, so we got all these automaking companies. Could nobody drive the awards from Detroit? <laughs> Dog, I am killing them, <laughs> killing them. I'm talking about, but killing them. The audience is just ruined. Yeah, we had a break. Go back in the break. The guy we organized. He's like, well, you know, you know, Coach, you know, I, okay. Can we not mention the fact that you know that we forgot the awards? I was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And went right out there and did it. Went right back out and said, let me tell you what they just told me in the back. <laughs> I can't get away with that. I cannot. You have a, d- a different they, level. Wait a minute. They had these, they had these, <laughs> these, bl- these blinged out lanyards. Mm-hmm. They, and they were like, they were real flashy. I was like, hey, bring me five of them lanyards. These are going to be the awards the for award. the night. I said, I'm going to put it on each one honor it. Bruh. Bruh. Look, but, you, but, but, oh, but see, that's a radio thing. You go with the bit. It is. Yeah, absolutely. And see, most people don't understand. Absolutely. That. But in radio, in, in radio, when something happens, you got a co-host, whatever. You're like, yo, you gotta go with the bit. Like yeah. you, you can't get no, Lonnie. I didn't do that. Fool, go with the bit. The whole point is the bit is for the audience. And especially when it's live radio, you can't, you can't cl- clean it up. It's out there. The best thing to do because your audience knows when you're trying to clean something else. Right. right? Or when something needs to be cleaned up. Just like I hate when people walk out on stage and whisper to me as if nobody else sees you walk out of here and whisper something to me, just tell me what you want to know. It's not a secret. See, Clearly, I'm going to turn around and say what you just said. Right, precisely. To the audience. <laughs> right. And see, me, I'll be like, you couldn't see the text? Right, uh, right. I got my phone. You as a matter of fact, you said. You, just you tell me what you want right, to know. you couldn't see the text? <laughs> or or I, I, the, one, the, the church people do this all the time. They pass more notes. And I'm like, if y'all pass me one more note, I'm like, yeah, somebody should yeah. have taken care of this early in the script. Right. So I'm passing these notes up here. I said, I'm, I, I'm just going to start just making up stuff that's on the notes. I, I did that one day. I just started making up. I'm like, y'all, they just passed me another note. I just started making up stuff. So you just started lying. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> I, I, I'm through. I'm through with you. Roland said, I'm in the church, and I'm going to just start lying. Dude, just like, like y'all want to keep passing me notes? All right. I love it. I'm going to just say, well, I did. OK, that the one that I did lie this one dinner. Cause you know black people, black people love shout outs. Yeah. Black people yeah, love yeah, yeah. shout outs. I know they do it. Lonnie, when you go, go uh, shout my mama out. Absolutely. Shout your mama out, why am I? Right. Like, right, really? So man, so we're uh, doing this dinner. Dude sent me a text. He's like, he said, man, let let you know I'm here. And again, for me, it's a bit. Everything is a bit. So I just said, I, I was like, I said, you know what, black people. I said, everybody want a shout out. I said, I have a phone like so. So-and-so just sent me a text. They hear. Oh, and you read that in the mic? Yes. So then there were other people who were in the audience uh, who were here. I was like, well, so and so. We do I said, <laughs> they here too. And the room was just cracking up laughing. Now they sitting over there like, I did not send them a text. I did not send them a text. And so I just started adding people like, yeah, table 38. So and so, so and so, dude. I just started, and uh, it, dude, I just started hitting eight, ten people. I was like, yeah, they want a shout out too. I said, wow. uh, I said, uh huh. I said, how y'all table doing? Oh, dude, I th- again. Everything they do though is is fair game. Hey, though. everything fair, it really game. Is fair game. We 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 gonna, we gonna swing on you. Yeah. And because the whole point is, and this is how this is how I look at it, and tell me how if you operate the same way. You sat in the audience many times and were bored out of your mind. Yeah. So my philosophy is I I want somebody like me hosting. Yeah. Yeah. So when I walk away, like, man, we would have three hours, but my I had a good time. Had a good time. That's the whole point. Yes. That's one of the things that I like about this McDonald's tour is while we are raising money for the Ronald McDonald House right. charities and doing such a great job around the country, it doesn't come like we are only there to ask you for money. Right. You know, the, the gospel music, the energy, the vibe, all of that is wrapped around why we're there. But it gives you a twofold. You can donate 
and you can leave there better than you the way you came. Got it. And you cannot beat a situation like that for free, right. Roland. Right, can't be free. I mean, we're bringing everybody who is top notch everything in the in the gospel music industry, and so it's not like this is just B, C, D role right. artists. You're getting the best of the best for absolutely nothing. See, now I'm gonna get you in trouble here. So, okay, we're about to play a little game here. So. You have the best. No, uh, you, you got the uh, you got the best of the best <laughs> all here. Okay. All the people here. All right. But you got to pick one. Okay, here's what happens. Okay, we ain't got much time. Uh -huh. Things change. You got all these singers, and Lonnie is responsible. Only one person can entertain the audience. Who are you picking? And you only got one. Across the whole gamut of artists? No, this this year's oh, lineup. On this show. This year's lineup. You can only pick Lonnie. They, they say, Lonnie, look, you got to pick Lonnie. We only got time for one artist. You got to, and all the artists are standing there in front of you. I'm not doing this. No, Lonnie, 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 you got to pick one. You really? Lonnie, you got to pick you one. You got to really pick one. You really think that I'm about to one. do that? You got to pick, look. I'm going to do it. I'm going to sing myself. I'll just sing No, that's not, that's not part of the rules. How you making up rules? Cause you not one. Of, Cause you ain't you. Cause you not one to entertain us. I am you the host. host. No, no, you're not. No, I you're not. Sing no, and host. Nope, nope. You the host. I you sing the host. And host. Nope. I perform. How, too. how long was your set? Ten minutes. Nope. That's your and it's MC and set. Nope. You ain't want to sing it. You got to pick. <laughs> we got James Fortune, oh, Yolanda, for we got sake. Donald Lawrence, we got the Walls, we got Summers. Did I miss anybody? Uh, That's who I would pick. Who? Summers. Why? Because she is new to the game, uh, she has a bigger passion for what's happening right now, uh, because of her uh, win from Sunday Best. Right. And the rest of them don't have anything to prove. So let her do and get more acclimated to, and get people acclimated to her. They can see another side of her. They know everybody else. Mm -hmm. So just let her do it. Done. Uh -huh. Don't tell me see, I didn't get out see, of there. Yeah. Don't uh -huh. tell me uh -huh. I didn't get out of there. He's like, oh, I'm glad he, he brought her name I'm up. Glad you <laughs> <met her. laughs> like, oh, I'm glad he mentioned her name. You gave like, it an out, baby. <laughs> and what's better is she can actually do it because right. the girl can go. Right. Right. So that, it's a win-win. All right. So I got another one for you. Oh, this game still going? Yeah, I got another. Right. Look, I'm, I, look, I'm the host. I don't, li I don't like this. I'm game. the host. Okay. I'm the host. This I'm the guest. This ain't your show. I'm the guest. This ain't the Lonnie show. Right. Right. Okay, I'm with you. When I call your radio show, you the host. Okay. Okay. I got you. Um, so I got another one. Um, who? Okay. Who is your? I can't. Normally, I, I have a bit. It's called. It's an all mm. song, but we can't do that since church. Uh, but I'm talking about. Is there? <laughs> I'm not fooling with is you. There, is I'm there? No, no. Is there part. a song? Is there a song that when it come on, you 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 just. You know, I'm talking about that that all mm, song make you make you, you scrunch your face. You can be stumped. I mean, you can be doing whatever, but when a song hit, you just go to another place. You forget. You just lose your mind. You just throw your hand. You just be like yeah. it, it. It hits you. Um, when it come on, it's old though. Oh, don't matter. Changed. Okay. Tremaine Hawkins. And actually, anybody who sings it, if you can halfway sing, change will take a house. Okay. A wonderful change has come over uh, me. That'll do it for me every time. Non-gospel song. Non-gospel song would have to be, um, uh, now, I don't know if you know who this is called, I think they're called Red Hats or Purple Hats, but have you ever seen the Peloton commercial? Mm -hmm. The bike commercial? Right. Uh, whatever track that is behind that bike commercial, I can be in some place else in my house, not even looking at the commercial, <laughs> and that track will come on, and I'll be like, oh! <laughs> Line of to a commercial. I could not, for the <laughs> longest, I didn't, I asked everybody, who is that? And I finally found out it was either Red Hats or Purple Hats, I can't remember what it is, but the song is just as good for the whole song that it is on that commercial. See, thankfully we now have Shazam. Because see, before before Shazam and other apps, I would he, I man, I would be listening to a song and then I'd be trying to find the four or five words in the lyrics and I go type the words in, go to go to Google, put it in lyrics. Oh yeah. no, because it it would. I love music. I love music, and it'll drive me crazy if I cannot find, find who that is. I will 
I will be, I will go down a rabbit hole and I wouldn't be able to go to sleep because it would just, it would, it would bother me. I, I, no, who is it? What song takes you there? Oh. Non-gospel. Oh my God, please. Um, take your pick. I can go, oh, B.B. King, Bobby Blue Bland, they, it's an album called Together for the First Time. Um, that's the way love is. I mean, oh, that, they, they kill it. Okay. They, they kill it. Let the good times roll, kill it. I'm talking about that hit, yo, we about to rock. Otis Clay, live in Japan. Wow. Otis Clay. I wasn't expecting Otis these. Clay has a song called Precious Precious. It's 13 minutes. There's a <laughs> six and a half minute organ solo by Charles Rogers. Bruh. I ain't never heard it. Bruh. And then the last his song, last song called that same CD called "Holding On to a Dying Love." Now my ex-wife hated it when I played that song, um, but I understand why because that's why she's ex. Um, but it's the song. And again, <laughs> I don't know what camera I'm supposed to look at, but I am not fooling. The song with is Roland Martin. when you I'm hear the song, you're gonna be like, "That's a jam right there." <laughs> now it's just it's so it, it, like you it, it hit you like, "Oh yeah, champagne." How about us? All I'm thinking about is that's why she's ex. I don't care what you about to say next. All I can remember ah, no. is that's why ah. she's like, this dude well, The song is, is called crazy. Hold On To A Dying Love. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I ain't fooling with you, man. No, because I got an ex-wife, too. So I'm not fooling you with say, you. you gonna, don't give me a playlist uh, for the ex-wife. Now you going to leave here. You're going to be like, hit that song. Right. Sing right. it, Otis. I'm not fooling with you. Nope, nope. I'm checking out. I'm checking out. See, all right, we done. <laughs> Man, it's Appreciate it, Doc. Appreciate it. Absolutely. My <laughs> pleasure. Ain't nobody like you. I love you, man. I love you. Appreciate it, my brother. Always good to see you. Thank you, man. All right.